The data analytics process can be broken down into a handful of steps that help simplify and solve complex problems, as well as provide businesses with valuable insights where they need them the most. In this video, we're gonna go over this process from beginning to end, as well as talk about some terms and tools that we use along the way. Step one of the process is arguably the most important. It's trying to identify the problem and condense it into an actionable form. In simple terms, we're trying to find the business problem that we're trying to solve. This could look like anything. It could be trying to forecast sales data, it could be trying to improve retention data, or it could even be trying to figure out a new product to launch. All of these are examples of common questions that are asked to data analysts. Once we've defined the problem that we're trying to solve, it becomes a lot easier to identify the data points that we would need in order to arrive at a solution. In this example, we're using data that we've collected from a superstore. I got this data off of Kaggle, which is a great resource to get sample data sets. We're gonna use this data to identify the top performing categories, the top performing product in each category, as well as forecast sales data using a simple linear regression. With this problem in mind, we can now start collecting some of the data that we would need to start answering the problem. Once you've collected all of your data, the next step is to get it ready for analysis. And to do this, we have to go through a process called data cleaning or data cleansing. This is a very important step to being a data analyst and a good data analyst will spend about 70 to 80% of their time entirely focused on data cleaning. It's so crucial in fact, that there's a saying amongst data analysts, which is garbage in, garbage out. You wanna ensure that you're working with high quality data right at the start to ensure that your analysis is valid at the end of it. Some of the key elements of data cleaning may include removing duplicates or errors in your data set, ensuring that there are no outliers in the data set, standardizing your values across all of your data, and also understanding how to deal with null values. This is an especially important step because null values can completely throw off an analysis. There's a couple of ways to go about this. You could either remove all rows with null values in them, but doing so might sacrifice the quality of your data. The other way to do this would be through imputation, which is where you use other rows in the data set to inform what could fill in those null values. Another thing that analysts will do alongside their data cleaning steps is called exploratory data analysis or EDA. This allows analysts to identify patterns and trends within the data, which can help refine the hypothesis, as well as understand some important things such as the spread of the data, which can be useful down the road in the analysis. While these are distinct steps, uh, they often go hand in hand because some of the results that you find from your exploratory data analysis can help inform what needs to be cleaned and vice versa. Another useful element of EDA is putting together summary statistics like the mean of the data, the spread of the data, the variance of the data, all of which once again just helps analysts inform how they are going to be approaching the final analysis depending on the question. The next step in the process is conducting the actual analysis. This is often the easiest step in the whole process because it's the most defined going in. Everything that you've been doing up until this moment has led you here. The actual model you use in order to conduct the analysis is completely dependent on the question that you defined in step one. For example, if you were trying to figure out what sales looks like next quarter, you might build something like a forecasting model. If you're trying to figure out the relationship between two variables, a regression model might be most useful. If you're trying to figure out why customers are churning, something like a core correlation analysis might provide you with some insight there. The whole point of this step is figuring out what model to use that is most effective in answering the question that you've defined. The final step in the process is presenting your findings to the relevant stakeholders. It's not as easy as just showcasing your raw data as often you're gonna be working with non-technical stakeholders. And so you need to ensure that your findings are easy to understand, unambiguous, and most importantly, actionable. It's also important to highlight all of the findings that you have rather than just picking what is most relevant, as well as highlighting any possible gaps in the analysis which may cause any issues. Analysts will often use platforms like Excel, Looker, or Tableau, which are data visualization platforms to package their data, as showing data through charts and other similar visualizations makes it the easiest to understand and to digest. To learn more about the field of data analytics, check out the playlist on screen. And if you wanna get started on your journey to becoming a data analyst, click the link down in the description to check out our free course.